In the wake of intensified sanctions imposed by Western governments, Russia's defense industry has faced significant challenges, particularly in its reliance on critical Western components, especially electronics. These sanctions, which have been in effect since Russia's expanded invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, have severely hindered access to crucial supplies needed to produce advanced military hardware, notably the Su-57 stealth fighter. According to a report by The Telegraph, Russia's defense industry is still heavily dependent on Western technology, a situation that has become more precarious as sanctions continue to block imports. For Intelligence Insight, a Ukrainian intelligence group highlighted that this dependency threatens the production of the Su-57, Russia's most advanced combat aircraft. The fighter, which was designed to rival the U.S. Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, has suffered from significant delays in production, with ongoing sanctions exacerbating the situation. The Su-57, first unveiled in 2010, was designed to modernize Russia's aging air force by replacing older aircraft like the Mikoyan MiG-29 and Sukhoi Su-27. With its radar-evading capabilities and advanced avionics, the Su-57 was touted as a formidable next-generation fighter. However, it was introduced two decades after the US F-22 Raptor, the world's first fifth-generation stealth fighter. This delay, combined with the ongoing challenges of production, has put Russia's ambition of matching American military air superiority at risk. Since its first flight, Sukhoi, the Russian aircraft manufacturer behind the Su-57, has delivered just over 30 units to the Russian Air Force. The first 10 production models were delivered in 2022, followed by another 11 in 2023. However, as of 2024, production has slowed significantly. This reduction is partly due to the difficulty in sourcing vital Western components as the Russian defense industry turns to illicit markets or Chinese substitutes to replace missing parts. Despite these efforts, the production rate remains insufficient and it's evident that the Su-57 program is far behind schedule. One of the primary obstacles facing the Su-57's production is the lack of key electronics, including the MPPU-50, an essential component for the fighter systems. Before the sanctions, Russia could legally import these components. Now, however, Sukhoi is forced to seek them through illicit channels, significantly increasing the cost and time required to maintain production. As noted by Frontelligence Insight, while Russia has found ways to smuggle components or rely on Chinese-made replacements, this has slowed the overall production rate and made each aircraft more expensive to produce. Additionally, Russia has faced significant losses in its Su-57 fleet, with two planes lost in crashes and at least one more destroyed in a Ukrainian drone strike at the Aktubinsk State Flight Test Center in June 2023. This leaves Russia with only a small number of operational Su-57s, a severe shortcoming for an air force that has lost more than 100 fighters over Ukraine since the start of the invasion. With over a third of the Su-57s in Russia's inventory being test models and many possibly lacking crucial electronics, Russia's air superiority continues to diminish. Faced with these challenges, some experts have suggested that Russia may need to shift its focus to producing simpler and more cost-effective fighters, such as the MiG-35. This transition would allow Russia to manufacture aircraft more quickly and at a lower cost. However, this move would also underscore Russia's growing technological gap compared to the United States which is rapidly advancing toward the next generation of stealth fighters, fighters that could soon surpass the Su-57 in both capability and production efficiency. In conclusion, Russia's military industry is at a critical crossroads. While the country has found ways to circumvent sanctions, the ongoing reliance on Western technology and the illicit acquisition of components have slowed production and raised costs. As a result, the Su-57 program, a centerpiece of Russia's Air Force modernization efforts, is now in jeopardy, and the country may have to reevaluate its strategy if it hopes to maintain a competitive edge in the skies.